I'm going to look at pure or evil in light of the other series, the other books in the series, and also just in its own right. If you haven't read any Linda LaPlante, look, they're known for really good, strong narratives when really well-developed characters. Now, whilst this book is part of the DC Jack War series, each of the books can be read alone. Um, but that's really good because if you do like the book and you do like the characters, you've got the rest of the books in the series that you can read. Other books you can go on to read might include Buried, Judas Horse and Vanished. This book looks at you know the nature of pure evil and purely evil people and who, who they are and is it us, you know? It, I don't want to get into too much detail on it, but it's a really good page-turner read. It's really well-developed characters, and it, I, I, I really enjoyed it. If you do get into uh, LaPlante's style of writing, you may decide to look at the Jane Tennyson or the Anna Travis series. Um, and there's a whole, a whole body of books. There's generally about half a dozen books in each each of those series. Look. Uh, Linda LaPlante was born Linda Titchmarch and uh, an English author, screenwriter and actress who started writing for television and then wrote for series, you know, Zed Cars, Sweeney the Professionals, <laughs> all those guys she appeared in and then she got on to write uh, for British television, mostly Thames television and look, she went on from there to become uh, just a blockbuster author and look, I think this is a great entry into her writing and if you like it as I say you there's plenty of other books within this series and then other series that you can go on to investigate her you know and and read welcome aboard